Hi there, Sylvia here from Rock the Cradle. Let's talk cord clamping. What do you do with your baby's umbilical cord after birth? Well, you have options. There are four options of what you can do with the cord, and it's good to know what they are, because if you know me, the more you know your options, the more positive birth experience you will have. Uh, so, after the baby comes out, baby is placed on mom's belly and the umbilical cord is still attached to the placenta. Well, for the past few decades, doctors have been immediately clamping that cord as soon as the baby is out. They put a little plastic clamp on it and then, you know, the partner can either, you know, go and cut and sever the cord. Uh, however, in the placenta, there is about a third cup, so about 100 mils of blood baby's blood that uh, instead of going back to baby is being discarded uh, but that's been going on caregivers have often been just cutting the cord immediately a second option which is something that clients are requesting more and more uh, because there's more knowledge about it now is delaying the cord clamping so perhaps delaying a minute one minute two minutes three minutes even longer uh, until the cord stops pulsing Midwives have been doing this for a long time, just letting the cord, you know, putting the placenta in a bowl and the cord uh, will be cut uh, perhaps within the hour. This allows baby's blood to go back to baby, uh, increasing the iron, the iron cells, the blood cells and uh, creating less anemia later on, etc. Now, the third option would be to clamp the cord quite quickly, though you can wait a little bit and then donate the blood uh, to Hema Quebec or your, your local blood bank. Uh, the issue that's happening at the moment, is, especially in our blood bank here, is that 80% of the samples are being discarded. Either there's not enough in the uh, enough of the sample or they have too much of one blood type or there are issues with the blood sample. So that's unfortunate because parents are donating the blood and they want uh, it to be used, of course, because it can save lives. Uh, the fourth option would be to clamp the cord quite quickly after the baby's born at, and to store it in a public and a private bank, sorry. Uh, so while you're donating to a public, a public bank before, now you would be storing it in a private blood bank for later use. If baby were to get sick or a sibling or a cousin or family member, those stem cells could be used to hopefully cure the ailment uh, at hand. So there you have it. Those are your four options. And uh, yes, the more options you have, again, like I said, the more positive your birth experience will be. Hope to see you soon. Bye.